so we left home in the morning and we kept uh, stopping with the car through some nice castles and abandoned towns which we really love although it's a bit sad and we went from the very dry center of Catalonia full of just crops and flat spaces to the Pyrenees area first the the part that is below new slept all the trip through and then we arrived to the upper part of the Pyrenees where everything was greener We arrived to our destination, which is which is Boren, and then Neil just woke up in that right moment and started crying for the two minutes we had until we finally, finally arrived to our destination. Right, Neil? <laughs> that was you. Okay, okay. <laughs> had lots of cozy times and we let us relax and we let Edith's parents just take care of us <laughs> and they were just very chill days. Cuddles, cuddles, and cuddles, and that was basically it. <laughs> and we went with Edo's parents to visit several towns, some friends, have nice meals. So we are here getting our second morning feed. We had the first one at 6 and now it's currently 8 a.m. We are in Boren, which is a little, a little mountain town in the Catalan Pyrenees. And we've been here for like three days. You'll see some of the fo footage um, probably before. Okay, someone is starting to like, get a bit uncomfortable. And today we, I'm very excited because we're going to visit some friends uh, that we actually don't know personally, but we know through the, well, through other people and through the media, who are a couple running a business here in the Pyrenees in another valley, um, about medicinal herbs, and they pick their own herbs. They have like a, they call it the, the smell garden where you can go and visit different, uh, see different kind of 
of plants and smells and properties and they also sell their own beautiful products i will show you like an hour later if if everything goes as is expected We went visiting uh, a couple that runs the business of the herbs and they showed us uh, their little crops or garden, however you want to call it, their shop. We talk about being a small business, trying to live from these kind of things, struggling <laughs> in a world that doesn't really think that plant is a business, uh, that taking care of, of plants or just teaching people about plants is a business. And it was really, really nice visiting their project. Their echinacea was stunning, <laughs> as you could see. And it was such a great experience. Thank you very much. here so I don't know if my voice will be heard very well we went for a walk because it was not feeling super good and nothing seemed to work so we're trying this last resort which usually works he's such an outdoor boy it's crazy and I love it so much we are at uh, the lake uh, next to Goren which is really really beautiful and I went here a couple of times these days when I was walking him. I tried to, to take new route, but I just love this one so much. And you can walk barefoot, practice some yoga if, well, if the baby situation lets you. And yeah, it's just really, really amazing. Like many of the spots here. I also love how having a baby like it makes experiences um, sound like twice as exciting as they normally would like for instance I've been here many many times and I love that lake but I'm not that excited about the lake or well, I wouldn't be if me wasn't here but just having him here and even, even knowing that he's a newborn and he's not actually seeing everything that I'm seeing and noticing everything that I'm noticing I just feel so excited to share it with him that it makes me twice as excited. I was so, so looking forward to this small trip. I mean, it's only been four days here. And of course, since having a baby, hanging a lot inside. We went outside also, but there were rainy days and more too cold times. He needed to sleep a lot, etc. But I was so excited for that. And I, I, like before coming and also while I was here, 
I was still very very excited and uh, yeah it's just one cool thing about having children or at least for me having him right now is that I get <laughs> like double excitement just because I just love sharing everything for him and I it's like it's like when you're showing your own country to a foreigner at least for me I get more excited and I'm more grateful for the things we have and I realize how nice our country is um, I feel the same way with him and it's just great because I don't know the other day we just had a bath we probably will have another one today and it was the first bath the three of us together and he was so excited for that like weeks before and then when we actually did it was really amazing because he was so funny he really enjoyed it I could I could see that he had been in the water for like nine months and it was also a cute family moment and I don't know just I mean of course there are um, cons of struggling with a baby everything slows down if that is a bad thing which usually is not but that could be a bad thing and everything is a bit messier especially with cloth diapering even though we take our bowl or in this case here we had like a little potty and we did that but still it's not like the most quick uh, like it doesn't allow us to go very fast when whenever we want and meals are not very quiet although we had some sleep that was really nice during the meals uh, he had some sleep but yeah besides from these cons um, I'm really enjoying our first little trip even if everything if everything feels like a trip or like an adventure having a newborn because everything is so new at least to him but yeah I'm just enjoying that I'm looking forward to showing him other uh, meaningful places that I would like to travel with him and just discovering new ones together also I don't know if that was uh, the slightly colder climate, if it was the change of routine, if it was the ambience of Boren and of the Pyrenees, I don't know, but just these days have been so much better in relation to sleep. Already the, the first day before we came, we slept at a friend's house, uh, who treated us super well in a very nice cozy room after a nice bath. And he already started sleeping better, so I don't know if it's just that his routine is starting to be more solid and yeah, like easier to deal with, or it's just that a uh, changing environment helps him, or it was just a coincidence. But just from having been uh, two weeks where during the day he didn't sleep at all, I mean, only like half an hour in my poop, but I, I couldn't take this time to sleep myself, and then at night he would wake up every three hours and then actually like wake up like good morning wake up around 5 or 4 or 6 a.m. these days it has been like way amazing um, yeah during the day he had he has slept like two hours and two hours two hours in the morning two hours in the afternoon could be even more so I was able to do some naps even if I didn't really much because I, I just lost my um, my routine to do so but at least I was able to do our, 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 our other things and at night he just woke up twice for his feet and it was really easy with go sleep I just yeah I just gave him my boop and fell asleep again and then he just woke up for good at 8 a.m. which is really reasonable time and I wake up at this time anyway so it has been amazing We bought some herbs to the couple and they go in these cute cute packages and in the last evening we visited the streets of Esterridano which is the closest big town uh, to the town we were staying in. Thank you very much for joining us in our first vlog and I hope you enjoyed it and that you will join us in our future ones.
Salud.